He's a gorilla of destiny, a bullet club OG. Continuing on the legacy of the most feared name in all of wrestling. From Tonga to Japan to America, you are now entering Tamas Island. With your host, the babyface heel, Tama Tonga. We are live here on the one the only, the seven-time IWGP Tag Team Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Oh, there we go. I got to unmute him. I got to unmute him. He's unmuted. <laughs> I'm unmuted. Let me loose. Unmute me, Ma. Come you on. Are, Let's you do unmuted. This. You unmuted, baby. There's a lot that's been going on lately. There's been a lot that's happening here. <laughs> Let's, let's cover let's call let's cover the obvious seven time iwgp heavyweight tag team champions of the world yep that's right the most recognizable tag team champions in all let of me the world let, all of the history <laughs> let me start that over you're seven time iwgp tag team champion you're the 2020 world tag league winner you're the best friend that the iron fingers of doom have ever had and quite frankly over the past like week it seems that more and more people are are taken up oh there they are the iron fingers seems more and more people uh, are taking up a little rent-free space in their head for for the one the only Tama Tonga Tama what has been what has been going on lately there's been it's been a crazy been a crazy 2021 for you how how are you how are the iron fingers man me and iron fingers is kicking it back we just got back from vacation the best vacation iron fingers ever had in his whole entire career in new japan pro wrestling man i'm telling you when you're in bullet club we treat you good in the real bullet club, we're in the real bullet club, like Iron Fingers here. I'm about to make him a member here. He's gonna be the first recruit mm -hmm. in the bullet club this year. I will. Still got a few more tests, I gotta put him through, but all together, man, my man here loves it. Loves it. I'm, I'm gonna rename him yet, but I haven't come up with a name. I need people to come in, <laughs> chime in on what the new name of Iron Fingers should be, man. Ooh, I like Iron that. Anymore. We need a new name for Iron Fingers from hell, man, because you're not in bullet club. We're about to christen you. New life, new name, new everything, man. I need, I need names. Drop some names, man. He's opening <laughs> it up to the island, folks. Head on onto, into that chat over on Twitch. Let us know what you think the Iron Fingers of Doom need to be uh, renamed. But hey, hey. <laughs> Iron Fingers from Hell. Iron Fingers from I Hell. I'm sorry. Rocks. I'm sorry. Iron Fingers from Hell. It's been a, it's been a very. Uh, I got a lot of stuff that I'm jungle, juggling around in my brain, as I'm sure you are as well. Because I mean, let's. Let's cut right. Let's cut right to the chase. This past Saturday, uh, Impact Wrestling, hard to kill, the Good Brothers, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, and as well Kenny Omega, they showing up not only in, in the Impact Zone on a Impact pay per view. They're showing up in Bullet Club gear. Kenny Omega wearing a, a Halloween Bullet Club shirt. Uh, I believe Carl Anderson had a hoodie, and and Luke Gallows was just head to toe in in Bullet Club gear. I mean, what what do you think of this? Uh, this, this uh, shit out, so to speak. I'm going to start with the facts, man. I'm going to cover everything that I saw first thing. See, I was in the air coming to Japan, mm. out of my own damn business. And these ruggedy ass, ruggedy ass bootleg club here want to testify. They want to they wanna come check out the smoke, man. All right, let's do mm. this. First of all, man, they can't even get on the same page. huh? We got Kenny Omega coming up in a pumpkin patch bullet club shirt, right? From how yep. many years ago? Cut it's up. It's a... It was a throwback, yeah. Oh, man. If I was Dave Meltzer, I would have given the shirt five stars and given Kenny Omega two stars because this tanning was damn more orange than the damn pumpkin, man. Who taught you how to tan, bro? Huh? Damn. You need to stop using that maple syrup as tanning because that's not it, bro. That's not it. All right? And let me tell you something, Carl Anderson. Nice, nice sweatshirt, man. I like it. I like it. I'll, I'll give you props because you are OG, right? Right? But I'm going to correct everybody that's been saying, oh, he's like, oh, gee, he still got to say, are y'all fucking crazy? Are y'all fucking out of your mind? Huh? Oh, he's an OG. Got, what, what the hell? You haven't been in the group for five fucking years, bro. You've gone on to greener pastures. huh? You don't have no say no more in Bullet Club. You no longer claim Bullet Club. You were the OC. You were the Bulletproof. 
you were Bullet Brigade, you were the bullet nobody cares, you were this, you were that. You were, how many goddamn times are you gonna try, dog? It ain't gonna work, all right? When you ain't got the heart and soul in it, it's just bullshit. Come on now, man, I don't care if you're an OG, huh? <laughs> you're off in the wind now, bro, you're written off. The only OGs that matter right now is Bad Luck Falling and the good bad guy, Tama Tonga. That's it, man. Prince David got no say. AJ Styles got no say. Kenny Omega, damn sure ain't got no motherfucking say and motherfucking nothing. All right? Get your non-tanning ass out of here. All right? And Gallows. Man, Gallows, man. That's fucked up, bro. You know what's fucked up, Gallows? It's fucked up. The Carl Anderson and guy named Kenny Omega didn't tell you the joke, bro. The joke is you get old shit to wear. Not spend all that money on new goddamn gear. How you gonna be the only one that spent money on new goddamn gear, bro? Mm-hmm. Huh? Come on, it- Gallows, bro. But but you know what? I can't blame Gallows because he probably sold all his old shit, man. You know, you know, he's a hustler, hustle. That's where I learned my hustle from. But Gallows, man, they didn't let you in on the joke, bro. I'm sorry, you had to blow all that damn money on Ooh. new bullet club gear, and you're not even bullet club. Damn. I would take every single one of y'all dumbasses to Bullet Club Court. You remember that? Ooh. But you're not in Bullet Club. So, you know, it'll be fair if we take you to a bootleg Bullet Club Court. That'll be better, right? That'll mm-hmm. be better. I would like that, man. And let the fans decide huh, what your penance should be. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Open it up to y'all. What do you think the punishment should be for the Good Brothers? What should the punishment be for Kenny Omega? Because this, I mean, let's face it, Kenny Omega, y'all were able to really make your feelings clear while he was still in New Japan. Y'all, the the firing squad definitely sent Kenny Omega a message back in in San Francisco. But with with Anderson and Gallows, it feels like there was always that room there. There was always a, a maybe a place for them to come back if, when, however, they were never quite kicked out let's say in the way that that omega or style it would have been were. all gravy man it would have been all gravy if it came back to japan it would have been a big ass reunion i would have thrown a party i would have gotten like 900 sponsors all over the place we were throwing out everything for these guys man <sighs> you Ooh. sold out to the one team that we kicked out how are you gonna have a reunion with guys that kick, got kicked out what kind of shit is that bro how what kind of shit is that that's the dumbest stupidest shit i ever heard bro Ah, dang, man. Y'all can't get any dumber than that, man. But I expect that. I expect that. I expected you guys to play that stupid card, man. I expected that. Come on. You can do better than that. Carl Schmanderson. Huh? Luke Schmallows. Come on, man. It's it's definitely, I mean, it, it definitely feels like this was this was a, a line drawn in the sand. I mean, if, if there's anything the past few months have proven is that New Japan can, they can get people from America into Japan. I mean, you're in Japan right now if if they if they wanted to get the good brothers if the good brothers were were going to be coming to japan they could have made that happen but it feels like do you think they maybe took took the easy way going going impact going aew stay in stay in america of course once a sellout always a sellout and i'll never forget that right there because they always about that quick buck man never holding off knowing the right time to pull the trigger you guys, man, but the click, 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 no bang, man, nothing. If you guys think that you guys, uh, the two sweetest heard around the world, <sighs> fuck all that nonsense, man. All that stupid ass fuckery. Are you kidding me, man? This shit's whack anyway, man. Shit, we done moved on. We done moved on, man. Thomas Island listeners, let's be realistic. You didn't have a whole lot of choice when it came to your internet service provider. A lot of us are under the thumb of a monopoly or a duopoly, but either way, the sad truth is choices are limited. And when choices are limited, internet service providers can take advantage of you. I'm talking about data caps. I'm talking about streaming throttles. The list just goes on. But worst of all, many ISPs can log your internet activity and sell that data to other big tech companies, even advertisers. To prevent ISPs from seeing my internet activity, I protect all of my devices with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a simple app for your computer or smartphone that encrypts all your network data and tunnels it through a secure VPN server so that your ISP cannot see any of your activity. Just think of how much of your life is on the internet. Every site you visit, every video you watch, every message you send is tracked by an ISP or another tech giant and it can then be sold for a profit. The reason I use ExpressVPN is because it's simple and it's easy and it's the best way to hide your online activity from your internet service provider. Just download the app, tap one button, and you're protected. And ExpressVPN does all of this without slowing your connection. That's why it's the number one rated VPN service by CNET and Wired. 
stop handing over your personal information to your internet service provider and to the other tech giants that just mine your activity and sell it. Protect yourself with the VPN I trust to keep me private online. Visit expressvpn.com slash Tama. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash T-A-M-A to get three extra months for free. That's right. If you go to expressvpn.com slash Tama right now, you can learn more, you can get three months free, and you can keep yourself safe. Ugh. Damn, Come on two, now. Moved on from the two. I mean, it, it seems like you've moved on just in time. It, there was a report earlier today. It's looking like they're trying to trademark two suite for merchandising uh, <laughs> in the name of maybe maybe getting in on y'all's. Hey, hey, I don't care. We don't, we're not using two suite. By all means, go ahead and take it. I would mm. get the company to come in and cease and desist your bitch asses, Ooh. but I ain't no snitch. Like your little hoe asses, man. I ain't no snitch like you hoe muffins out there. So, ah, now you go ahead, man. Oh, but Tom, they're spreading Bullet Club. They're spreading all over the world. Shut the hell up. What the hell you all talking about, man? What the hell? They all talking that bullshit. Tom, he's spreading it in America. He's just jealous. Shut the hell up. Ain't nobody jealous of shit, squat, dick, nothing. Ugh. You guys make, you fans make me sick, man. Don't know shit from squat. Ugh. Look, the only people they're advertising is mm. themselves, not Bullet Club. And you all should have known that when they did the whole elite thing. Oh, the elite made Bullet Club uh, more uh, more famous. Bitch, the elite made the elite more famous, not the Bullet Club. That's how they were able to go on. They used Bullet Club to go on and do their other shit. They used us as a platform. Let's not forget that bullshit. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Well, they used us. They used ROH. They used, who else do they use? Huh? I'm going to tell you this right now. Remember this. How you treat people on the way up is how they're going to treat you on the way down. Don't forget that. Don't you all forget that. Look at them struggling right now, man. Struggling so bad. So desperate right now. Uh, let's bring Bullet Club. Uh, all the ex-members. Let's get, what kind of dumb shit is that? I've never, I've never seen anything so dumb before. Oh. Carl Anderson, I expected more, man. I guess I was wrong. I guess five years out there in New York really cluttered your brains up, man. Woo. I was gonna say because you you talk about all the places he used. He used they 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 used Ring of Honor. They used New Japan. They used Impact. They used AEW. They they even used Thomas Island in a way. I mean, if you go back to the season one premiere of Thomas Oof. Island, the way we started this podcast, it wasn't just hey. you and me. It was you, me, Carl Anderson was also That's hanging right. out, chilling. I thought we were bro- I thought we were good brothers, man. I said, like, here's my boys. I was pissed off at WWE. I was pissed off at them for firing my good brothers here on a time on a pandemic. When people needed help, they're going to let go of my buddies, my brothers. So I said, hey, man, come on in, bro. Let me try to help you out. You know, this is beneficial for both of us. Ah, little I know, man. Little I know. I should have figured known, man. <laughs> I should have known better. Ah, uh-uh, ah, man. Ah, bullshit, bro. Bullshit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man, easy money. That's the problem with you. You know, I was going to say you Americans, but I can't say that. A lot of Americans is what's taught out there, man. You guys just hoeing out so quick. So quick, man. You ever seen that? They did a test with kids, man. They put them in a room, put a plate of cookies. They said, two cookies. They said, look, I'm going to leave these cookies right here. I'm going to leave. I'll be gone 15 minutes. If I come back and these cookies are in, you'll get four cookies. Carl Anderson, man, you leave that room, them motherfuckers eat them cookies up right oh. away, man. Oof. Oh. Can't wait, man. Can't wait. Oh, cookie loving ass. <laughs> gotta get those, gotta get, gotta get those quick cookies. That's what that's what America's about. But man, it's it definitely it feels like uh it it does feel like there is this kind of how do I put it? There's it's like there's this rift going on in America because it used to it used to be like it was WWE versus everyone. And now it's WWE versus AEW versus NJPW versus Impact. And now Impact and AEW have this weird kind of alliance that's going on. And it's it's getting very much, it's getting feeling like that, uh, like like before World War One or World War II, when it was just hey. all, all the alliances seem to be getting getting a lot of people hey. in now. Hey, ain't nobody give a fuck about no Impact. Nobody mm-hmm. give a fuck about no goddamn Impact, man. Look, let me tell you something, man. I ain't got no problems with WWE. Mm-hmm. I got no problems. If they, you know what? Hey, Hunter, anybody up there, Vince McMahon, hey, anybody, 
we open for business, man. Mm-hmm. All right. You come take care of me and my peoples. All right. And I'm talking about BC. I'm talking about New Japan. Let's do business, man. Let's Ooh. do business. I ain't got no beef with y'all. I ain't got no beef like like these other cats, all right? Building a company just right with you. Nah, we're New Japan, man. We've been here. We were here before. Oh, y'all, we've been here. So, look, we ain't got no problems. Our Ooh. gates is wide open. Let's do business, huh? Mm-hmm. We got CML. We got WWE. What's up, man? Mm-hmm. What's good? I ain't got no beef with y'all. <laughs> what I got beef on, everybody knows what I got beef with. I'm bullshit ass. Omega Let's keep all going. I was gonna say because <laughs> I was gonna say we can talk about the fact that you know you've got all of this all of this animosity with with Omega and the Good Brothers, but they're not the they're not the only ones that seem to be trying to trying to jump all uh, jump all on you this past week. Uh, more more recently, uh, it seems the the one former uh, IWGP Intercontinental Champion, former Never Openweight Champion, uh, Michael Elgin. Coming out of left field, uh, just I again, you're in Japan getting prepared for for the new for the back half of the new beginning tour. I'm in America, just kind of reading through the wrestling news, and all of a sudden, Michael Elgin's got your name in his mouth, and he's talking about how you're you injured him, you did you dislocated his shoulder, you only got your 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 push because of your father. And, I mean, what what is this? What what do you think of that, Tama? What do you think of these things, Michael Elgin's saying? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this. Okay. All right. I'm a, I'm a, I need to calm a minute because I'm about to okay. blow up on this dude. <sighs> three years, man. That shit happened three years ago. Three years ago. I'm here minding my own business. I got Kenny Oshmega hitting me from the right. I mm. land walking about my best. Then all of a sudden I got Michael Elgin hitting me from the left, man. I'm, what the hell? I guess Michael Elgin saw me throwing smoke at everybody and wanted to come in on that too, huh? Mm. All right. That's no problem, Michael Elgin. Look at here. He's pissed off <laughs> that I hit him with a whole bunch of shots with the chair shots, right? I was yep. going ham on his punk ass. Yep. Hey, number one, I was just doing what I was told to do, all right? And number two, the chair was plastic, Michael Elgin, you fucking bitch. Mm. All right. <laughs> The chair was plastic. And I'm a great worker, man. I take great pride in being a great worker. And you could tell, man, if you're watching, he said I was just swinging like a wild man trying to hurt him and this and that and this and that. No, nah, man. Most of the time, if you saw, I put out his arm, right? Held his arm up. I swung at his arm. I hit the damn mat. I was hitting the damn mat. Michael Elgin, you bitch ass. Acting like, oh, you, like you got some injury. Hey, let me, hold on. Yeah. Are you bitching to anybody? You had your arm taped already. Mm. Who who hurt your arm before that? Are you bitching about that? Are you bitching? Because every time, it seemed like every time you're about to lose, you're all taped up somewhere, man. Every mm. time you're about to take that fall, you're all taped up somewhere. Some bullshit that tape job. Elgin, man, you're, you're the biggest dumb idiot I've ever freaking seen, man. I'm not going to lie. After all this time, I've been standing up for you, man. I just was telling the boys two weeks ago that I miss you, man. I miss your stupid ass, lying ass stories, bro. It was entertaining. Okay. It was entertaining. And then I was telling the Islanders, Thomas Islanders, yep. just last year when we started this, they were going in on your dumb ass for whatever dumb shit you got going on on the outside. All right. But I stuck up for you. I said, look, guys, he's really talented in the ring. I respect his work. Mm-hmm. I was trying to like keep it. I was trying to keep it chill, man. Yeah. Then I find out, you know, because I, I had already found out a year before that when we did the, the Philadelphia tour, right? We did Philly. Yeah. Uh, we did we did that tour down on the East Coast, mm-hmm. right? I had to find out for some fans that Michael Elgin was talking shit about me from fans. Fans approached me and told me mm-hmm. that you were talking shit about me, that I hurt you, that I'm unsafe, and I'm this and I'm not... Uh, and I was like, you know what? I'm just fans. They don't know what they're talking about. So I just kept my mouth shut. Now I got to read that shit on the goddamn news. Are you talking shit about me? Man, Elgin, you son of a bitch, dumb idiot, you. Man, I, I you, you know, okay, let's get on it. Let's get on it right okay. now. The real reason mm-hmm. that dumbass idiot, Michael Elgin, ain't coming back to Japan is because it's his own damn stupid fault. This idiot, all right? Mm-hmm. He was contracted with New Japan Pro Wrestling. He was on yep. a contract. So 
Now our schedule was pretty busy. When contract season was coming up, he still had another year. But this dumbass went and told New Japan, look, my son, I need to go home, spend more time. I can't do this schedule. I need to be home with my, mm-hmm. with my son. New Japan, being the family business that they are, said, okay, we'll let you go. Let go of his contract. He went home. Soon after that, he shows up on Impact. New Japan is blown away. What the fuck are you doing? And then from Impact, the following month, ends up back in, in Japan yep. working for all Japan. Yep. Boom. Elgin, you're the biggest fucking idiot I've ever seen in my life, bro. You're a fucking idiot. Damn fault. Why are you telling everybody that I caused you, that you won't come back to Japan? No. You're your own reason why, man. You fucked that up yourself. How are you going to fucking leave Japan because the schedule is too busy to come back to work in Japan for the rival company? You're a, a fucking idiot. It, it That's the truth. No, and, and That's look, the truth. Speaking as someone who's been involved in the wrestling media for a long time, there was it seemed like he had st- had some statements earlier within the past, I want to say six months, that made it sound like he was going to try and maybe rehab some of the image that he's had. He's not necessarily, you know, been talked about in the kindest manner, like you said, by fans and, and wrestlers alike. And so it seemed like he was going to try and, and maybe work out some of the, the personality differences that he was having with people. And here he is again, for lack of a better term, shooting himself in the foot. It's like you said, he's been in impact. He's been in Noah, he's been in new Japan and he doesn't seem to stick anywhere. What do you, and, and you're saying it's, you're saying it's him. It is his own, own damn fault, man. And look, I would have minded my own damn business gone, my own merry way, just been flaming up, smoking up Kenny Oshmega, you know, Luke Smallows, all right, and Kyle Schmanderson. I would have done their business by myself solo. But then you had to jump in out of nowhere, wanting that smoke. You, you thought, oh, let me get in on that piece. Maybe I can get my name back in the game. Nah, man, we just buried you. I hate to kick a man while he's down. Mm-hmm. but you're asking to be kicked bro all right you're asking to be kicked now you're changing your stories left and right bro it's a plastic fucking chair man i did what i was told to do to you because you're in a fucking idiot that's why all right that's why wow there Truth. you go hey you're fu- Boom. Live, live ammunition here on thomas island uh it's definitely uh it's definitely the high fire round, but we, we, we've addressed, we've addressed Elgin kind of leaving New Japan. We've, or being, for lack of a better term, being fired from New Japan. Um, we've addressed, him, you know, you talk him saying that you injured him. We haven't addressed his third and uh, also very grievous suggestion that you got your push because of your father, which a shameless plug for Holy Tom. dumb shit. Okay. All right. Well, we'll start there. Okay. So I've been in New Japan now going on 11 years, okay? I started in the New Japan system from the bottom. Mm-hmm. Bottom. I'm at the dojo. I'm doing everything from the bottom. If I had gotten my push because of my father, I would have been pushed way at the beginning when Carl Anderson, AJ Styles, Prince David, and all of them. But no, I was the fall guy because they needed that. So if I got that push, I would have got it at then when Bullet Cup was, was needed, was us. But now here I am. So what, what, what do you got to say? My 10 years that I'm not good, that I'm not worth it. I haven't done my fucking job. That I haven't, I haven't put it in the work in the past 10 years. I'm Michael Elgin. You, ooh, son of a gun, you, Michael. Michael, <laughs> I, I, Michael I mean, Elgin, <laughs> big small Mike, <laughs> big dumbass idiot Mike. Oh, <laughs> Shameless plug oh. for the, the Thomas Island archives. If you go back and listen to, especially your time in Puerto Rico, your time in the dojo, it really does sound all respect to Haku. Like he threw you into the, the pool and said, oh, start what, swimming. Like it was very 100%, much. 100%. Yeah. 100%. That's that, the choice was, you know, I'll say it again. My brother and I started together. Mm-hmm. Now the, the, the plan was to send us into WWE, but my father wanted us to start in new Japan. That was the goal. Get go there. Start at the bottom. Unfortunately, we went and tried out anyway for WWE. My brother got into WWE and I went to New Japan and we both came up that way. But before I even went to Japan, I did the Indies. I did Puerto Rico. I, I went. I've done it. You can't take that shit away from me. I got proof. It's all over the internet. Come on, Elgin. For you to say that dumb shit, man, come on, bro. Come on. You 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 are dumber than I think, bro. I think you are. You, you <laughs> such fucking retard. 
Ooh, no, like, all right, all right. Let's pull it back. Let's pull it back now. Twitch has community standards. Uh, I've, I've been through them uh, with a fine tooth comb, but uh, we, we do need to talk about the fact that you've got Elgin talking shit about you. You've got Omega and the Good Brothers poking the bear every chance they can get. And, and you have a, a, your first tag title defense of your current reign on February 10th against Tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. So they're already, they're trying to divide your attention from what should be your goal right now of, of defending that title and, and you know, keeping, keeping this record setting reign alive. I mean, how, how does it feel kind of being in Japan, trying to focus on February 10th and having just all of this stuff coming at you? Hey, I've grown accustomed to it. I've learned to multitask. And if you wanna be at this level, the level that I'm at, you got to learn to multitask, man. I got Iron Finger in one hand and Kenny Omega in the other, and I can do them both right now, man. I can do them both. And Elgin, man, that ain't no worry for me, man. He's already dead, bro. He's already gone. It's like, There's no, he's like a fart in the wind right now, bro. <laughs> It's like you said, you don't, you don't have to kick him. He's not even a ghost at this point. Um, but it, uh, it definitely... You know, it, it would be it would be remiss if I didn't say you got any words for for Saber and Tai Chi because Tai hey, Chi's calling no. for your, Tai Chi's calling for your head. He wants he wants you he wants your life over you stealing the iron. Uh, hey hey Tai Chi, like I told stupid ass, big ass, dumb ass Michael Elgin, get in line. Who else wants my head right now, man? Anybody, y'all can get it. You're just gonna have to wait your turn. That's it. Take a ticket and sit your ass down. All right, wait until I call on you. Bow bow bow. Me and I am fingers from hell. <laughs> going in the work right now, huh? Huh? What? Wait, we're gonna we're gonna go get a workout in. I just need to put a little pump, man. Get that get that pump in real quick, man. Huh? Anybody? Hold up. Anybody come yep. up with some new names there for Iron Fingers, man? I was about we need, to say we need new names. Uh, it's it, it's basically it's been a lot of people kind of kind of you know uh, reacting to all of the the live rounds you've been firing. Uh, there it yeah it's. There, it really. We, if you are in the chat, please throw some names for the Iron Fingers uh, for us. If, uh, throw some ways that the Good Brothers and Impact uh, can be, can be. I just, uh, I just saw somebody talking about where's Enzo. I yeah. don't know, man. I don't know. Last time I smoked him out, man, he never came back. That's it, man. I didn't even have to touch his ass. Huh? Smoked him so bad, man. It, it's gone. Air. I was gonna say you did that with you did that with words. I think you guys were <laughs> man. My, with, my hey, let me tell you right now, my Twitter finger is strong, dog. Cow, cow, yeah. cow. Pow, pow, pow. I be shooting. No blanks, man. No blanks right here. It's, All right on Twitter. I'm I'm live with this ammo. You you have been for a, you have been for a long time. That's why we kind of that's why we needed Thomas Island. We needed to harness it. We needed to play. We needed a shooting range for you to you know, take out some. <laughs> hey. I just saw a name, Aluminum Shock Fist. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> the Aluminum Shock Fist. There you go. Gorilla Claw, I'm also seeing. Uh, finger... Ooh, here we go. Shout out to shout out to Bamming for Fingers of Destiny. Uh, fingers of God. <laughs> fingers yep. of Destiny. There you go. <laughs> the Rick James special. <laughs> Bow! <laughs> what did oh. the Iron Freaker say to the face? <laughs> <laughs> oh amazing. Uh, amazing that's it man the rick james special man i'm gonna call him iron rick man iron rick <laughs> since since we're call, since we're talking about the chat and everyone's everyone's since we're talking about the chat we got a lot of people asking where's jay white where what what's going on with with jay white or or jamie as he's been he called himself in that last that hey, last promo. Hey, don't you worry about my man, Jay White. He's recouping right now, getting himself together. He'll be back in the game. I got no doubt. There's a reason why we brought him in the Bullet Club, man. <laughs> all right? Don't you worry. He'll be all right, man. What's done is done. What's the past is the past with that with that bullshit that happened to you. But we're back, man. It's okay. We just need to build it back up, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should Hell. give him eye fingers or give him some therapy and some shit huh <laughs> Here, there you hold, go hold the, the rick james special man there you go. They, they do get see the, get the they drew in tai chi they drew in you it's entirely possible if you if you let jay kind of go buck wild with those with those iron fingers he might he might it might reinvigorate <laughs> something it might relight that that fire it might it might bring some of that soul back to him uh stalingrad right here bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, I love it. I love it. The iron. Well, the, Tama, you uh, obviously have have got to be focused on the back half of of the New Beginning tour. You've got you got a lot on your mind. We appreciate you kind of stopping by, hanging out on Twitch. Want to thank everyone in the chat for for thank coming you. up with coming up with names for the for the iron fingers we I, I know we just based on the stats i'm seeing we broke some records on viewers tonight so thank you all for for joining us on the thomas island twitch if you can join us on the thomas island uh patreon at patreon.com slash thomas island if you become an islander uh tier subscriber you can hang out at the uh the bi-monthly happy hours that we've been doing we just had our first happy hours this past weekend how did it feel chatting it up with the with this the oh, i was it was great, man. I, I I miss those. I miss everybody, man. We get to chat it up, man. We get we kind of go behind the wall, lose a little kayfabe in there, yeah. and uh, keep it real, keep it one hundred. But that's a family, man. That's that's people that's always been supporting us one hundred through and through, man. And I appreciate them very much. So join us at patreoncom backslash Tomazon. Get to know everybody. It's a community, man. It's all community. It's all yes. love, baby. Shout out to also our, our sponsor, ExpressVPN, who have been very kind to us. If you need to keep your information safe, if you need to, you know, maybe maybe play around with your Netflix settings so you can watch some of those shows that are only available in Germany or those shows that are only available in uh, in Japan, head on over to ExpressVPN. Use our code uh, Tama. They've got they'll be taking care of you. That's right. That's what I'm on right now, man. I'm on VPN right now. That's the only way I can watch all my shows. Yep. On my Netflix, man. They stay. You know, they got that that bullshit. They got a the, you know the regional yep. uh, stuff blocks man yeah uh, vpn helps me out bro absolutely every time stuff leaves there I, I go to look up where where it may have jumped to in the world just throw in the vpn i don't even i don't even have to get a new subscription it's great uh there but you thank go. you <laughs> thank you again for for hanging out with us uh as always tama what's your what's your social media where can people find you oh shit i don't know yet but let me tell you hold on we got a, we got a new comic man uh to be yep. the man comics they've been sponsoring us we got a new comic strip coming out. Uh, we've been doing it since last season. We got a new one coming out that we just dropped to only our Patreon members on Thomas Island, but will be released here in a, in a few weeks. But you guys come in and check it out. It's really fun. It's real stories with us that's happened here in a dojo, on the road, or whatever, man. It's, it's real stories. And these guys, to be the man comics, has come through like a champ. Great art. It's, it's so ridiculous how, like, how on point they are with the cartoons, man. Much love to them. Thanks a lot to be the man. And uh, go check them out. All Hell right. yeah. And remember, at Tama underscore Tama on, or, or at Tama underscore Tonga on Twitter, uh, at good bad guy Tama Tonga on Instagram, at Thomas Island on all Instagram, uh, page, Patreon, Twitter, all that stuff. I'm at Ross W. Berman IV. Thank you again for joining us on, on Thomas Island on Twitch. And uh, we will see you all the next time we go live. Thank you all. Thank you for listening to this week's Thomas Island. Find more great Thomas Island content like the Shotgun series, weekly happy hour Zoom calls with Tama, video versions of the podcast, and much, much more at patreon.com forward slash Thomas Island and visit at Thomas Island on Instagram and Twitter.